get lost inside my thoughts And when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep I bleed Hello and welcome to my channel. So to kick this look off, I start by priming my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. I then get the Profusion Cosmetics Smoky Palette and I use the shade called Graphite in that palette and I start to blend that into the crease. I then decided to cover the lid in this shadow as well. I swear I do this with every look. I start off by just placing it in the crease and then I just cover the whole eye in it. I want this to be the ultimate smoky eye. So I go back into that smoky profusion palette and use the shade called Raven, which is this beautiful black eyeshadow. And I start to blend this into the crease and the outer corner of my eye. I tidy up the edges with a makeup wipe and then I go into the Profusion Cosmetics Sparkling Eye Topper in the shade Sizzle. And I start to place this over the lid. I'm still on the hunt for that perfect bright red liquid eyeliner. So in the meantime, I'm using the Zoella ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Self Love Club and I'm only creating a winged eyeliner on the outside of my eye. So now I've practically finished the eye look I then go ahead and do my base makeup. For my brows I use the exact same liquid lipstick that I used for my eyeliner. Going back to that eyeshadow called Raven I start to apply this on my bottom lash line. For my waterline I use the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Prance. I really wanted to have a red pinky mascara on my bottom lash line but when I put it on I did not like it so I went in with a normal black mascara for my lashes. I think I was a little bit happy with this eye look. <laughs> with the white Barry M eyeliner pencil I start to sketch out the design on my face. I start by drawing some cards going over one of my eyebrows and I fill that in with a white face paint. Using the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour palette I start to create some shadowing around the cards. Then with a tiny tiny little brush and a red face paint and a black face paint I started to fill in the details of the cards themselves. There isn't a specific order of the numbers or anything like that. I just wanted it to be red, black, red, black. So there wasn't two red cards together or two black cards together. Moving on to the poker table on my chest, I use the green face paint that is in the Snazaru 8 pan face paint palette. And I start to place this all over my chest, all the way up to my jawline. To make sure the poker chips that I'm going to be painting on are a perfect circle, I get a lid for my product and paint some white face paint around the outside and basically use it as a stamp on my body. I then roughly draw where I want some cards to be as well on my body using a white face paint. I then get some micellar water on a cotton bud and I start to get rid of the face paint inside these shapes. I do this because when I paint them I do not want the green to mix in with them and make them really muddy. Going back to that Snazaroo 8 pan face paint palette, I use the red, blue and white in that palette and start to paint some of the chips. Now I paint the cards around the table. So some of these cards are facing up and some of them are facing down. The ones that are facing down I'm painting red with a white border and then the ones that are facing up are obviously going to be different types of cards. I made the cards look like they were overlapping each other so it looks like they were fanned out in someone's hand and they've put it down on the table. I then dip the handle of a brush in the white face paint and start to create the dots around the outside of the chips. On the white chips I created black dots around the outside and I did this with a black face paint and a now dotting tool. Going back to that Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour palette, I start to create some shadows around the outside of the chips and the cards. The lashes I use for this makeup look are by Tinker Beauty and they're in the style Beth. For my lips, I use that Colourpop Zoella liquid lipstick in the shade Self Love Club that we've been using earlier. I actually use this on my lips as well. To finish this look off, I got some chips and created a headpiece out of them. I just used a glue gun and stacked them on top of each other and then clip them to my head. They were very heavy and gave me a huge headache, but it was worth it. I think this look was really cool. I also had this poker kind of table that you can get to create your own poker nights at home. I had that, so I placed that up in the background to add to the look. And I also had some playing cards that I used as a prop. 
So this is the final look. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you do like it, hit that like button because it really helps me and my channel out. And if you would like to see more from me, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a single video. You can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Over there, my name is at brook.ellis underscore. It is a link to the description down below along with a load of discount codes if you are interested. So for Colourpop, Morphe, or things like that I have discount codes down there for you if you want to use them thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye